Hey everyone, this is Angel. I just wanted to show you this fall folder folio that I finally finished decorating. I started it a little while ago and um, just got into making other things. <laughs> and this was a trial. I wanted to see, you know, if I can do it. I followed a video by Charlotte Peterson and I will put a link to her video, her tutorial, in the um, description box below. So y'all can go ahead and give it a try and have fun. So this is like four and a quarter, and it's eight inches this way. And this is some seam binding. And I used a beautiful paper pack from Hobby Lobby and I will put the name of it. I keep forgetting to go look for it before I film. <laughs> I'll put the name of it down below, okay? And so we're just gonna start opening and seeing all the hidden goodies in here. So this is some paper to write on. And being one of these folios, I couldn't you know, embellish it with thick laces and flowers like I normally do. I did get a little bit of lace there though. So we've got some butterflies and some flower tags. And I did, you know, distress all around the edges to give it that yummy vintage feel. Some more paper to write on. And of course you can Add whatever you like, you know, pictures and other memories. So this close, and there's a spot if you wanted to add some pictures. And we're going to open. So now this flips up, and it's got a little tuck spot, pocket. I keep calling them tuck spots. I don't know why. <laughs> They're pockets, side pockets. More paper to write on. And that paper pack is just so pretty. All of this is from it. Everything goes so well. It's all romantic and flowery and vintagey and yummy. So this opens up and we've got a little journaling card here. And we've got a lace belly band here. And a couple of cards. And then, yep, this opens up. And we've got a little notepad here. And if you finish the paper, this comes out and it's attached to just this piece of cardboard or cardstock. So you can take the staples out and add some more pages and restaple or get another piece of cardstock, the same size, and boom, you got a whole new pad ready. I thought that was so neat the way she devised that. So we've got little two pockets here. Help oh, this one. Believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Big old writing pad. So you can, of course, put pictures here. This is removable. I guess you call that Midori style. So when you fill this up. And here are a couple of pockets. Oh, fingernails. We need fingernails. And here's another one. These are so pretty. <laughs> And they flip up. So you can put pictures there, of course. And here's another. Oh, I did was a little stint, a little rose there. And yep, it flips up again. You've got more space to put pictures if you wanted. And here are two pockets. And I did one little journaling card. I figured you might want to put something there that you liked. <laughs> and I think 
that's all it opens. So we're gonna go back to closing. Look at all these neato things. And flips, and another flip, and another. And then that goes back. And so it is so cute and amazing the way she designed this. And here's a little lace. Look how pretty that paper is. I love it. I had it for a while before I used it because I was afraid. You know how we hoard the cute stuff? <laughs> well, not afraid to use it, but afraid to use it up and then they'll never have it again. But as someone just said, they will have more cute stuff. So use what you have. Okay, it's not doing any good sitting in a container. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you check out Charlotte's um, video so you can make one too. And I will see you later. Bye-bye. Right.